Hi, I thought it'd be fun to do kind of like a cozy unboxing. I have all of the iPad minis in, the new iPad mini 7. I have an Apple Pencil Pro to unbox and I also have some of the new Smart Folio cases with this year's iPad mini also to unbox and share with you and give you a first look at iPad mini 7. And also just talk a little bit about what I what's going on with iPad mini and Apple and iPad this year. So I am not a coffee drinker. So unfortunately I can't have a cute little mug aesthetic. Not a huge fan of tea either. Am big on soda, but soda isn't very cute. So we will put the Coca-Cola out of the way for aesthetics. Okay, so I'm not going to leave you waiting. I'm obviously going to unbox the blue iPad mini first. We had the purple iPad mini before. They also have Space Gray and Starlight, which we're all pretty much already familiar with. Apple Pencil Pro, this year's iPad mini 7 is compatible with Apple Pencil Pro. Previous model wasn't because Apple Pencil Pro did not exist yet. And then we have our compatible smart folio case, which I really enjoy Apple's smart folio cases. Okay, so here is a look at the packaging for iPad mini 7, same packaging as last year. This is the Wi-Fi and cellular model in the 512 gigabyte configuration. The new starting configuration is 128 gigs. So double the starting storage at 499 USD. So here's a look at the blue iPad mini. This blue is very similar, if not the same, as the new blue on the recent M2 iPad Airs. So that's quite fun. There's also iPad mini in the name on the back of the iPad now, which is really nice. If I open up the rest of the box, you'll see that we have the braided USB-C charging cable. And we also have the charging block as well. Let's go ahead and pop open the accessories for the iPad mini 7. I have the coordinating smart folio for this color as well. This is the smart folios in denim. Pairs nicely, of course, with the blue iPad mini. Again, the blue on this iPad mini is very subtle, if not the same type of finish on the new M2 iPad Airs. So I'm expecting the finish on the purple mini to also be very similar to that as well. But there's a look at the iPad mini 7. Not that you would be able to tell that this is a newer iPad mini since it's still the same design, except we now have compatibility with Apple Pencil Pro. So we'll pop this open. So I have an entire video on the Apple Pencil Pro as well as the iPad Airs, the M2 iPad Airs, the M4 iPad Pros. I went to New York for the Apple iPad event back in May. I do have lots of fun videos on Apple Pencil Pro, iPad Air, M4 iPad Pros, and now we see the Apple Pencil Pro brought to iPad mini. And there we have it. Magnetically connects to the side and of course, loaded up with iPad OS 18. All right, let's quickly unbox the next color. We're gonna go with purple. I have the coordinating purple smart folio case and the ever so lovely purple iPad mini. I'm a big fan of purple around here. look at the purple iPad mini. Again, a very, very subtle finish on the iPad mini this year for the purple. Looks very similar to the finish on the new M2 iPad Airs that came in purple and blue as well. Of course, in the box, we get our braided USB-C cable and our charging block. Now let's hop open our smart folio case. Thank you. 
Okay, next up we have Space Gray and the coordinating kind of charcoal black color for the Smartfolio. And of course, our braided charging cable and our charging block. Now let's open up the Smartfolio. And that is the Space Gray iPad Mini 7 with the A17 Pro chip with the coordinating Smartfolio cover. Last color for this year is Darlight and the coordinating Sage case with this one. So let's pop open Starlight. I think Starlight is a really pretty finish. Very, very subtle. I'm always caught off guard by how much I really like Starlight. So of course in the box, braided cable and our charging block. And then we have the Sage Folio. The iPad mini smart folio cases and the colors are pretty much lining up with the M2 iPad Airs. Kind of a matching generation we have going on here. And then Sage with Starlight. Love this combination. I'm a big fan of Sage. Okay, so I grabbed the new iPad Airs. I grabbed the one in blue and the one in purple to compare to the new iPad mini. And I also grabbed the iPad mini 6 that was launched back in 2021, just so you can see the comparison in the purple. So this is what the iPad mini 6 looks like in the purple um, in comparison to the iPad Air. This is the purple M2 iPad Air. Grab the purple iPad mini 7. So here's a look at the purple iPad mini 7 versus the purple iPad mini 6. So the purple iPad mini 7, very, very, very subtle. At least with the iPad mini 6, you can tell that it is purple. But there's really not a huge jump as far as this upgrade from iPad mini 7 in 2024 iPad mini 6 from 2021, except kind of the chip boost and then compatibility with the Apple Pencil Pro. Otherwise, very similar, same design, a refresh of the colors, but um, otherwise pretty much the same iPad. Here is that in comparison to the iPad Air that was launched. Looks like the same finish. And then let's compare the blue to the iPad Air. Same subtle finish as the M2 iPad Airs. These are the 13 inch size, by the way. Same, same, same. And then a comparison of the folios. My folio from the iPad mini 6 is kind of beat to death. Um, but just so you can see comparison of that, the purple folio is uh, a bit darker from the previous few years ago in 2021, the previous gen versus the folio now. But I, I think Apple just really wanted to quickly refresh the iPad mini lineup. That way they could kind of buy people in to Apple intelligence whenever it launches this fall. They are trying to get people really excited, people high wanting to use Apple intelligence and realizing that not every person is going to want to upgrade their phone to buy into Apple intelligence, but maybe they're on an older iPad model from a few years back, maybe it's time for them to think about upgrading and maybe, you know, putting in Apple intelligence in the future in the iPad mini 7 is what will be kind of that leap for people to upgrade. I don't think this is an upgrade from people who have the iPad mini 6, especially with just how similar they are. There is a boost in the chip and compatibility now with the Apple Pencil Pro, which are the two kind of main, almost only, feature upgrades with the iPad mini 7. However, having the iPad mini 6 with the bright purple or brighter purple, I do really prefer that colorway compared to the more subtle purples that we're getting with M2 iPad Air and now the iPad mini. This just seems like a quick refresh of the iPad mini. New customers, customers who don't yet have an iPad mini or those who are on the super, super, super old generations of iPad mini, not iPad mini 6. 
not iPad mini 6, uh, but on super old uh, iterations of the iPad mini that are looking to upgrade. This is a very, very small upgrade between the six and seven. There is also the increased storage, which is always nice. I feel like more and more people are grappling for more and more storage. So again, another pro there, though I do think this is just a really, really, really weird launch, but I'm always happy to unbox and chat about it with you and let you see the colors. So let me know your thoughts down below. I will be doing a full review and comparison of the iPad mini 7 with iPad mini 6. So this is just a very weird, a very weird launch, but I do love iPad. I hope you enjoyed, you know, kind of just chill, talk about iPad a little bit, unbox a few iPads so you can see the colors and kind of compare them to previous models and other iPads. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see my other iPad mini videos, I'll have them linked below because the same should still apply with this generation. And I will be working on my full thoughts on iPad mini 7 because I do have some thoughts, some very weird questions, and I'll see you around on the web. Bye. Thank you.